Hey everyone, what's up, North Collectors here. We're breaking the brand new 2019 Topps Chrome Baseball. This is a hobby box this time. If you've seen our first video, it was actually a jumbo box where you got five autographs. Here you get two autographs um, and chance, of course, to pull super fractors, colored parallels, refractors, uh, all the inserts. Um, our jumbo box was pretty rough. Uh, the hobby boxes run about 105, 100 to... 110 i guess but we paid i think 105 for this yeah and so we got one silver pack with it um and at the national so we bought this at the national and we got one silver pack with it and if you've seen our silver pack break i think that this was definitely a pretty good deal because our silver pack break was good yes this nolan and now card is interesting so it almost looks really off centered by how far over he is in the card which is kind of interesting it's a, it's a beautiful looking card it is it's cool jp crawford Colby Allard, rookie. Isn't he? A, yeah, he's a pitcher. But yeah, he's in his, pitcher. That's kind of funny that he's in his... I like that. That he's in his... Uh, it's not like a variation. No, it's so 84. Okay. Yeah, it's 84. It's weird. Chris Bryant. Yeah. It's kind of cool, though. I like it. So 24 packs in these boxes. Four cards per pack. And you get some numbered stuff. I think there's... Oh, double beef? Maybe. At least one beef. That's, That's a good one. Nice. Why is this not? I think this is a. I don't know actually, because this card is thicker. Is it thick? Might be a variation. And a Vlad Guerrero refractor. Whoa, dang! That was a good pack. Maybe I'm totally off, but it looks thick. I wonder if there is. A, I wonder if that is a variation. I, that looks just like his. Uh, it looks just like his top card his though. Top card. Yeah. Maybe it's not thick, and I'm just delusional. But don't those? Yeah, those are thicker card stock for sure. Yeah, I wonder what that is because like you usually guys can tell too. You can see we've opened up a ton of chrome in the past, and anytime it's thick, it usually means it's a refractor or it's numbered or it's a variation. And so I don't know, that was a stinking pack, though. It doesn't matter. Tatis yeah. and a Guerrero. Yeah, that was an awesome pack because <laughs> this checklist is pretty brutal. Yeah, and so to get um, last time, I don't think we got either of those guys. That's cool. No, uh, oh, did we get a Vlad? No, I, don't, I don't think so. We got one out of a retail box. Not, not a, uh, not a refractor though. No. Yeah. Definitely not. I don't even think we got a. So base. we'll have to look up that Tatis because that does seem weird. That but he's... the refractors also are not thick, so I don't really know. Like this card isn't. Like just these cards. Remember they're saying they were miscut though. Maybe. Yeah, maybe yeah, they were. Yeah, so we had our friends Mike Baseball uh, Collector. Uh, check out his channel if you haven't yet. And he and Andy, she blinded me with refractors and some other guys went to the question and answer um, time with Tops at the National. Yeah. And they said that the top rookies, and they thought it was Vlad, Tatis, Alonzo, and one other. I don't remember. They were miscut and... They're all miscut. They're all miscut. Because people were like slabbing them same day and they're coming back as like sixes. Six and, and sevens. No, Nothing higher than a seven, I don't which think. Which is crazy. Yeah, which is insane for modern day cards. And for Chrome. Chrome always grades amazing. Yeah, Chrome, The yeah. only thing usually with Chrome is like surface. Like a bad grade in Chrome is usually a nine. Yeah, exactly. Trey Turner. Unless you have a terrible surface and it's all scratched or something, you yeah. shouldn't ever get lower than a nine unless you drop the card or something. Or your dog eats it. Yeah, true. Otani, Carlos Santana, Nick Castellanos, Refractor. Now on the Cubs. David Fletcher and George Springer. That's an awesome card, too. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> that's a cool picture. Now, that's different than his, see, yeah, for sure. series, uh, his series one two cards. Because what they do with Chrome is they make a lot of them the same, but then all of a sudden they throw in a different picture here or there. Zara. Got probably an auto here. I'm thinking, or is it an, I don't know, Miles Mikolas. It's a negative. That's cool. Trey Turner. Oh, yeah, that's cool. The negatives look a lot better this year. Yeah, they do. Last year, they were so dark, you couldn't even see the player. Yeah. That looks. It almost looks like, you know, like if you like look through like infrared cameras or yeah, something. Yeah, it looks like an x ray. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, so a couple more packs. I would not be surprised if I do not get an autograph or a parallel. That's normally what has happened recently. Oh, Luke, don't be so hard on yourself. I know. You only pulled the 101 out, I know. Of, a, out of a. Sometimes pack, I pull the big so, cards and I got yeah. the the ground book too, but it seems like recently I've been on a. Anytime we open up a box with like one or two hits, I never get any of them, which is kind of funny. 
Already, this box is almost better than our. Oh, it, jumbo it already box. is better than our jumbo. It doesn't matter who the autos are. I mean, Tatis right, and Vlad. right. So that's what it. You know what you have to look forward to if you're breaking this stuff. You just don't know. Joey Votto, Reese McGuire, and Odubel Herrera. Reese McGuire, that's a different name. Yeah. Those cards are weird because they definitely are thicker. They're not yeah. as thick as the parallel though, which is very strange. Maybe that's maybe that's why. Cool. Maybe that's why they are what they are. Like this, maybe that's part of the being. They're being miscut. It doesn't seem like they're miscut though. They're just thicker. I don't know. I have no All idea. right, Brand Crawford, Kevin Newman, Noah Syndergaard didn't get traded, right? Uh, Edwin Diaz, that, he was all the talk about getting traded, and he stayed with the Mets. Yeah, did, I think didn't Edwin Diaz get traded? Um, closer. I th yeah, maybe. I don't remember. Kyle Seeger, Vladimir Guerrero. Is that one beefy? I'll look in a second. I don't know. Yeah, it is. It's thicker than a regular card. Yeah, so maybe that's part of it. it might be part of it. Brandon. Yeah, it's well, Okay, this is interesting. Brandon Lau and Rowdy Tillas. All right, here, I want to show something a second. This is the discovery. So I've got a blue border card here on the back and a regular card, and I'm going to put them like right up next to each other. That's what it looks like. You can't see anything. Same thing going this way. You can't see the blue at all. And if I put this Vlad Guerrero top rookie up to it, look at this. It's like with the edges pressed up and stuff. Put it Let's down see. on the put it down on the mat so you can just yeah. So that's down on the ground. It's on the here. mat, and there's it's not much, but there's a little bit hanging over this edge, and there's a little bit hanging over the top edge, and it's like a little narrower, which is very interesting. And it's also a little bit thicker, which is weird too. You, know, you might not be able to see that, but it is so. That's why they're miscut. You wouldn't really be able to tell that unless you held up. To, like it's not like majorly miscut if you didn't know. But so I wonder if the Tatis is the same. Let me look. All right. So Andrew McCutcheon. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. Ooh. Whoa, that's a good that's one. That's a good card. <laughs> that kind of snuck up. Red Kobe Allard. Wow. Tatis to... is the same, by the way. That's a five. Five. Dang. Bam. Chrome. Woo! Not bad. You, you know how hard that is to hit <laughs> out of court this year? Holy cow. All of a sudden, I just pulled it. I wasn't even looking in the pack. And that's a beautiful card. Wow. That's beautiful. So, we're going to look at the odds a minute. Kobe Allard for the Braves. Blue, Ricky number to five. Parallels. Gold wave. Orange. Red is one every 12,000 packs. So it's impossible. You only need to open 12,000 packs and you may hit one. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Read for Because those are just the odds. It's not guaranteed. That's, not, <laughs> Reds looks, that's the second red chrome auto we've pulled, I think. It is. You know what? One we pulled. First one was George Springer, which yeah. at the time would be worth so much more. Now. Oh, my word. Yeah, we, we sold, sold that sold card it. for like $110. Yeah, it's I terrible. mean, yeah, case. Okay, so leave all your negative comments right now. We were but like, it's like anything. You can we speculate no, all you want. He wasn't really even supposed to be like that amazing at no, the time. So, but I mean, he turned out to be. Red was worth one hundred and ten dollars. And this, it. but this was even before all the hype with with all these guys. The prices were way down back in the That's day. True. That was what two thousand. That was fourteen. 14? Chrome. Yeah. So. I mean that was bad. That you know we're talking five years ago, yeah, and the prices won't really weren't really the, what they are today. There's a Mookie Betts, and we have a Piscotti. It'd be cool Prism. if they made Prism autos. I don't know why they don't, but that'd be pretty sweet because Prisms are cool looking. Patrick Wisdom, and there's an Acuna Junior. I like the rookie cup cards. Yeah, they're cool. Well, it's been a good box so far. Yeah, wow, really good box. Now, of course, when we pull the Super Fracture out of it, it'd be oh, even better. better. Sometimes these Chrome boxes are that way where you get just a totally loaded box. Lewis Brinson. We haven't really gotten any color yet, though, which is interesting. What, Merrifield, Juan Soto, and Suarez. We haven't gotten a numbered parallel besides the red yet. And we got the negative, negative that, that's and that's it. Not and numbered. then the Refractor, but the Refractors are not numbered. Yeah, refractors and prisms, but those are like one every three packs if you look at the odds. So. Paul DeYoung, uh, De Los Santos. It's a refractor. Oh, that's a refractor, sorry. Michael Givens and Zach Cozart. 
All right, so let's see if we can get any color. I mean, I'm not going to complain if we don't yeah, to get a red autograph. And he's beef. not the biggest name. Yes, has mm. beef in it. So, Charlie Black. He's actually a little better name than some people, though. This is an auto, for sure. Christian Yelich. And it looks like another pitcher. No, it's no, Kevin it's a, Newman. No, oh, that's not, not bad. I, mean, his, I just his saw. I just saw his cool. arm. Yeah. A little bit off center, but it's but a nice autograph, and not numbered. Just a base. That was a pretty good auto. But like those are those two guys are better than anyone that we got in our jumbo box. Yeah, they are. Yep. <laughs> so maybe I mean this is a super small sample. Can't don't uh, go to your LCS and say this, but possibly hobby is going to be better than jumbo. Uh, maybe. maybe just just possibly it's not always that way you have a better nope. chance of getting a good auto out of uh jumbo for sure just because of how many more cards now he got traded to the braves right i think so yeah yeah, yeah i know he got traded hosmer all right so two more packs and no once again pillar. not going to complain but no base or yeah parallels that are not autographed with color so justice sheffield birdie Starling Marte, and there's a nice one, Jeff, Jeff McNeil. McNeil. That's pretty good. He's having a great nice cut. rookie year. I wonder if this is concerned on the big guys. Nope. Jeff McNeil's fine. All right, so no color. Ronald Guzman. Interesting, that's sweet. Devers is having an awesome year. 22 home runs, batting 324. It's pretty good. And Dean Detz. All right. That was pretty solid. Yeah, Actually, that, was that was one super of the best good. Chrome boxes we've opened in a while. So yeah, those were yeah yeah better than all of ours last year for sure. Yes, yeah, so we got Kevin Newman, awesome. This card looks so cool. Colby yeah. Allard, red on him. I mean, he's not a great name, but he's actually, if you're going to get a pitcher, it's about one of the best ones you can get this year. Yeah, so pretty much five, and then he red auto sells. So Tatis rookie, Guerrero rookie. And a Guerrero rookie refractor, which is also pretty. Now good card. flip it over. Does it say refractor this year? It doesn't, no, does it? We we were over. Yeah. Over. Oh no, it does right there. Oh, it does. Okay, yeah, it Maybe does. Maybe we just missed that. In like Maybe we missed it because before it was more visible. This one does not. But that's because it's a prism, though. This one does. Yeah. But mo la other years, all of the refractors yeah. have refractors, except for the one year, a couple years back. Like the Chrome Auto doesn't say refractor. No, no, it's just the the ones that are the um, base refractors. So yeah, yeah, if you want to call it that, base refractor. I don't know. Doesn't Anyways, matter. good box, great box, uh, a lot of fun, and uh, love the look of Chrome. It is going to be tough though this year. Mm -hmm. I mean, for we're us not going to have... get a box like this. We're, like it's if you open up ten more boxes, you probably get one get one as good as this. Yeah. So for us to have a box like this um, was definitely. Nice, uh, but yeah, it's gonna be tough. I That's have a feeling really tough. So, anyways, let us know what you pulled. Have you opened up a jumbo and a hobby? Just a jumbo, uh, or just a hobby? Uh, what did you get? Uh, put it that in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this break. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next break.